difficulty there for a minute. I bring to you now part two of my WWE Clash of Champions pay-per-view. And as you see where we left off, we're getting ready for our last man standing Intercontinental Championship match between the Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman, and the big dog, Roman Reigns. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a last man standing match. And making his way to the ring, ladies and gentlemen, the monster among men, Braun Strowman. There he is, fans. The mountain among men, the monster among men. The one, the only. The Destroyer, Braun Strowman. And this man has been on nothing but a warpath against Roman Reigns. These two have had some great matches in the past, but tonight it culminates right here at Classic Champions as Strowman looks to take that Intercontinental title away from the big dog, Roman Reigns. In this hellacious, epic, one-on-one -on -one contest, this, this is going to go anywhere and everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Last man standing, Intercontinental title on the line. Strowman, Roman, up next. <coughs> and there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the big dog your Intercontinental Champion and one member of the Shield, Roman Reigns. Look at that look of Roman right there. He is not intimidated. He is focused. He is ready for this. Ladies and gentlemen, these two have had great epic matches in the past. Roman has fought tooth and nail to keep a hold of that Intercontinental title so far after he won it from The Miz a couple months ago. But ladies and gentlemen, right here tonight, this is the true test for Roman Reigns as he goes against the monster among men, Braun Strowman, in this one-on-one -on -one contest right here. No rules, no disqualification, no submission, no pinfall, just straight out knockout brawl battle here. Last man standing, Intercontinental title on the line. It looks like Strowman's not going to wait for this. Dude, not even going to wait for the bell. The bell's now rung. Referee's in the ring. Strowman just tossing Roman Reigns like a rag doll around the ring. Now what's this? Damn! Look at the strength of Braun Strowman. <coughs> this monster just taking it. Just beaten down. Oh, God. Now, Roman now on the attack. Roman's got Strowman on the top rope. What's he got planned here? What has Roman got planned here? He isn't going to. No. Superplex from the top rope. The strength of the big dog now headbutt to Strowman. <coughs> oh, and a kick to the back of Braun Strowman. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, I am doing better, but bear with me with the coughing as uh, that bad sickness I had is taking a toll on me. But uh, let's get past that and let's get back to this great pay per view matchup right here. Now, Strowman with the punches. Just laying into that, to the midsection. What Strowman got here? He's got him up. Suplex. Down goes the big dog. Oh, and what a kick. Oh, what a left hand punch. My God. Just a pure strength. Now the referee with the count. Strowman's got a chair. What's he got planned here? The only thing I can think of is just pure destruction. Oh, and he took out the referee. Well, 
We all know Strowman just wanted to beat the living daylights out of Roman. And I'm pretty sure the referee... Oh, man, what a smack. Now just taking it. Just Roman Reigns. Roman's hurt. No, Roman. With the reversal of Strowman. No Strowman guy here. Oh, what an elbow. And a takedown. Strowman in full control of this matchup as the referee starts the 10 count. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, no count outs, no disqualifications. The only way to win is to incapacitate your opponent for a 10 count. Roman up at five. Roman now. No! Take it down the monster among men. Roman trying to fire up and get the crowd behind him. Strowman looks dazed and confused. Roman on the attack. Clothesline. And another epic clothesline there by Roman Reigns. Strowman up at one. But again, Roman with the boots to Strowman. Strowman now. Trying to get up. Impact on his feet. And that's not where Roman Reigns wants to punch Strowman is on his two feet. Oh, what a big boot. Down goes the big dog. Strowman's got that chair once again. Oh, what a smack. Right across the chest. Now one to the back. What Strowman got here. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. He isn't going to. He's got Roman. Is he going to do what I think he's going to do? Ladies and gentlemen, no. He isn't really going to. Oh, my God. Just stomping down on that chair around the neck of Roman Reigns. Sidewalk slam. <coughs> oh, what a punch. Now just tossing Roman Reigns to the outside. Roman's down, referees on the count of four. Count of five. What Strowman got here? Oh, right into the announce table. Oh my God, we might want to move. Choke slam through the announce table. My God, we've got to take a look at this replay. He just absolutely destroyed Roman Reigns. And this crowd, Chad, this is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, this is awesome. Roman Reigns just with force choke slam by Braun Strowman through that announce table. The referee now on the count of six. Strowman still not done. No, Roman able to reverse it. How is Roman Reigns even on his two feet after that hellacious choke slam through the announce table? And a drop kick by the big man. Down goes Roman Reigns. Big dog's in trouble. Oh, and a knee to the gut. Axe handle. And now just stomping across the midsection of the ribs of Roman Reigns. Strowman in full control. And now on the attack, just raining down those right hands to the big dog. And again, Strowman. Strowman just wants to inflict as much damage as he can to Roman Reigns. But Strowman, I don't think it's about the championship. It's just the fact that he wants to beat the living hell out of Roman Reigns. Down goes Roman with another sidewalk slam. Strowman has him. No. Versus close line by Roman Reigns. No, right over the top rope goes Roman Reigns. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, 
I want to apologize for having to cut it short there a few minutes ago, but this is part two of Clash of Champions. Intercontinental title on the line, last man standing. Roman Reigns trying to defend his title against the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Oh, what a flying clothesline. Strowman up at two. Strowman now with the Intercontinental title. Oh, right to the head. Braun Strowman with the Intercontinental title right across the face of Roman Reigns. Roman's down. Now the monster among men. What's he got planned here? He's got him up. Down goes Roman Reigns. What a slam. This is just amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Over the top rope, bouncing head first off the steel steps. Referee starting the 10 count. What Strowman got planned here, he's got the steel steps. And just the pure strength of Braun Strowman. Oh my God, right to the back of the big dog. And again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just brutality here. By Strowman. Oh! Bouncing it right off the face. My God, the damage to Strowman. What Strowman got planned here? A Strowman. No! Roman fighting back. Down goes Roman Reigns. Again. No reversal! Reversal by the big dog. My god. Just the power of Strowman up in a count of two. What is it gonna take for Roman Reigns to keep this man down? Spine Buster! God, he's got the sledgehammer. Oh, right to the ribs. And the back. And again. Ladies and gentlemen. Roman Reigns is out, ladies and gentlemen. He's got to be hurting. Strowman just taking it to the big dog. Look at the power. Oh, my God. Now, just throwing Roman up the stage. Roman being tossed around the arena like a rag doll. Strowman right across the ribs. They're working their way up the stage here at Clash of Champions. What's he got planned here? Again, throws him across the stage. Strowman got planned here. He's got him up there at the edge. Oh, Strowman looked like he was going to try to toss him off the stage. Just didn't have the uh, strength, apparently. Roman fought back out of it. And now Strowman, no, reverses. Strowman dazed. Oh, no, coming back with the punches. And a backbreaker across the knee. These two, ladies and gentlemen. What has Strowman got planned here? Strowman now headed to the back. What is he doing? Strowman kind of baiting in the big dog, saying, come on, man. Up at the top. Oh, what a slam. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you this would go anywhere. Strowman headed to the back. The big dog knocking him back down. Last man standing for the Intercontinental title.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try to continue this action backstage. Where are these two men headed? We're trying to get cameras back there right now. Oh, there we are. There's the live feed. Strowman, Roman, right there in the production area. Oh, my God, right through the table. Oh, my God. These guys are just... This is just an all-out beat down. And for Strowman, this is just a day in the park. This is like meal time. Oh, no, but Roman reverses it. Catches the chair. Oh, and an elbow. Strowman trying for an uppercut. Kicked by Roman. Now what you got here? Oh, right into those crates. Oh, Russian leg sweep. Oh, what a punch. Strowman now making his way even further back into the arena. What's he going to do here? Oh, my God. I think that cut him open. Ladies and gentlemen, Roman Reigns could be busted open after that, that shot from that metal. Oh, leg first. You hear that thud. And yes, there you see it. Roman Reigns busted open after being hit face first. Uh-oh, what's Roman? Roman's got it. Roman's got him by the throat. Roman's in trouble. Oh! My God, the pure strength. Now Strowman in the locker room. What has he got planned here? What has Strowman got planned here? On oh, a spear! Oh, my God! Strowman turned around. Roman Reigns spearing Braun Strowman right through that table. Now the referee with administering the 10 count. Can Strowman get back up? Strowman is down. Ladies and gentlemen, could this be the demise of the monster among men? Strowman, a count of nine. Ladies and gentlemen, Oh my God, he did it. Ladies and gentlemen, the big dog did it. With that spear through the table, that was it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still intercontinental champion, Roman Reigns. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, all three members of the Shield tonight now have gold. Roman with the intercontinental title. The Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins with the tag titles once again. But ladies and gentlemen, moving forward on our Clash of Champions Part 2, we have the Raw Women's Championship on the line as Alexa Blix looks to defend her title in a fatal four-way elimination match against the undefeated Asuka, the Destroyer, Nia Jax, and the returning but always controversial Paige. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one fatal four-way women's matchup you're not going to want to miss. Raw Women's Championship on the line. Fatal 4-Way Elimination here at Clash of Champions. Stay tuned. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Nia Jax. And the pure size, power, and strength of this woman is just absolutely unbelievable. Now, we all know that she is part of a, a friendship here with Alexa Bliss, known as Team Rude. Will that be a factor here in this Fatal 4 matchup? Or will either Alexa or Nia take it out? Well, it might even come down to them one-on-one -on -one in this Fatal 4-Way Elimination match, ladies and gentlemen. If that happens, what will be the reaction? What will be the emotion of both Bliss and Nia Jax? Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're going to find out.
And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, the returning Paige, the leader of the awesome trio known as Absolution with Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Ladies and gentlemen, she has been nothing on a rampage, no pun intended. But Paige is back, and she said she is here to once again be the Raw Women's Champion and be on top here in the women's division. She has that chance if she can get past Nia Jax, Asuka, and the Raw Women's Champion Alexa Bliss in this Fatal 4-Way Elimination matchup. And there you see it, ladies and gentlemen. Paige claiming this is her house. Well, it will be indeed if she can knock off these other three competitors here in this elimination fatal four-way matchup. But she has to first get past not only Nia Jax, but this woman right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this superstar is nothing but unbelievable, incredible, undefeated for over a year and counting. Ladies and gentlemen, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. gentlemen Oscar is definitely ready for this one she said she wanted competition and that nobody is ready for Oscar well tonight we're gonna see if anybody truly is ready for Oscar as she tries to become the number one woman the raw women's champion Oscar is here and those eyes say it all right there ladies and gentlemen Oscar focus set ready for this one. Fans are on their feet. They can't wait to get this one started. Oh, here she comes. The goddess, Little Miss Bliss, your Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. Alexa doesn't even really look one bit worried, but she should be because her friend Nia Jax is in this match. But tonight, will Nia Jax truly be Alexa's friend? Or will Nia really show Alexa what a real true friend is and take out Little Miss Bliss? Or by some miracle, can Alexa Bliss once again with the stacks not in her favor against all odds, can she pull out a... <laughs> an awesome victory here tonight at Clash of Champions. We're going to find out. gentlemen raw women's championship is on the line there you see it that's what these four women are battling in this fatal four -way elimination match there you see Nia Jax Paige set and ready Oscar laser focused and the raw women's champion saying I got this and there you see Oscar taking it to Nia Jax Alexa Bliss and Paige going at it ladies and gentlemen fatal four way match Elimination rules do apply. The only way to win is by pinfall or submission. You must be eliminated. Once the other two competitors are eliminated, it will be a one-on-one -on -one matchup between whoever is left. Winner of that will become the Raw Women's Champion. Oh, Paige taking it to Alexa. No, but Paige. Alexa with the reversal. Asuka with a splash on Nia Jax from the top rope. Alexa using that flexibility choking out with the boot on Paige Paige now in the corner Alexa on the attack 
Nia Jax taking it to Oscar. Oh, Alexa misses. Paige reverses. Paige with an elbow. Down goes the champion. Ale Nia with a smack to Oscar. Oscar taking down Nia Jax. Paige on the attack of Bliss. Paige, what she got planned here? Telling Alexa, come on. Alexa trying to get to her feet. Paige, her run off the second rope. Now Paige in control of the Raw Women's Champion. But look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oscar trying to choke out Nia Jax. Oh, but Nia fought her way out of it. And there you see Paige trying to go after Alexa. Alexa reversing. Alexa taking it to Paige. Neckbreaker to Paige. And my God, look at the strength of Nia. Just power palming Asuka. And a drop kick to Paige. Paige is down. And now the Raw Women's Champion with the kick to Asuka. Once again, you see Bliss going after Paige. Oh, what a takedown. The Raw Women's Champion showing why she is the true goddess of WWE. No, but Paige with a reversal. Oscar's got Nia. Oh, Oscar with the kicks. Paige with the kicks of Bliss. Oscar getting fired up. Irish whipping Paige in off the ropes. Oh, what a maneuver. Oscar taking down Nia. Paige taken down by Alexa Bliss. Jawbreaker to Paige. Now Asuka with the submission, looking for the arm bar. Oh my God! You hear that snap of the arm and the wrist of Nia Jax. Alexa with the kicks. She's working on the back of Paige now. What is Alexa thinking here? Oh, Alexa misses the... Yo, oh, drop kick to Paige. Nia's got Asuka. Asuka's down. Oh, and a kick. Now the double team on Asuka by Nia Jackson. Little Miss Bliss. Jawbreaker to Asuka. Now Nia going after Paige. Alexa taking it to Asuka. Oh, into the corner goes Paige. The strength of Nia Jax in full force here tonight in this match. And now Alexa. No, reverses. Into the corner goes Alexa. Asuka, wow, what a hip attack. Alexa down in the corner. And another one. My God, look at the speed of Asuka. Raw Women's Champion's in trouble. Asuka in control of Alexa Bliss. Places her in the corner and then tosses her across the ring like a rag doll. And Paige now stalking Nia Jax. Oh, with the headbutts. Taking it to Nia. Oscar on the second rope. Alexa's in trouble. No, Alexa moved out of the way. Swatting and a knee. Taking down Oscar. Alexa. Oh, what a backbreaker. Now just wrenching down on Oscars. Now Alexa taking it to Paige. Nia's down. Oscars out. Paige. Oh, what a drop kick. Did you see that? Boot face first on the chin of Paige. By Bliss. And another takedown of Paige. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Alexa, DDT to Paige. Could this be it? Could Paige be eliminated? Referee going for the count. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Paige has been eliminated. Now it's down to the two friends, Nia Jax, Alexa Bliss, and the undefeated Asuka. It looks like we're gonna see a double team here by Nia and Alexa. Alexa going after Asuka. This truly does go down to Nia Jax and Asuka and Alexa Bliss for the championship. What are we gonna see? Will Asuka once again be defeated? But not technically because she is not in singles competition. She has yet to be defeated one-on-one. -on -one. But we do know that she was technically defeated a while back ago at SummerSlam in that six-woman ladder match for the Raw Women's Champion, which I will add, Alexa Bliss did defend and keep. Nia now just, and Alexa taking it to Asuka. What has Alexa got planned here? Oh, and a stomp to the gut of Asuka. Nia and Alexa just surveying the damage. And a kick to the back. Oh, and now Nia all the way coming down on the leg of Asuka. Alexa hanging back. What's Nia got planned here? No! Oscar reverses it, but here comes Alexa Bliss. Oh, and Alexa got reversed by Oscar. But it's Alexa coming back, throwing the right hands. Now a kick. And another jawbreaker. Down goes Oscar. Nia now with the pin. No. She's going to try to let Alexa. Take it to Asuka just a little bit longer. And now sweeping the legs out from underneath Asuka. What's Nia got here? Nia's got her up. Power pump to Asuka. Oh my god. Alexa going for the pin. Two. No, Asuka kicks out. Alexa can't believe it. Now Nia just the living daylights out of Oscar right now with the attack. Again, Oscar with with a neckbreaker taking down Nia Jax. Oh, and a neckbreaker by Alexa. Alexa going for the pin. Could this be it? No, kick out at two. Break to the eyes of Alexa. The straight there of Nia Jax, just overpowering Asuka. And a knee, my God. Hey, gentlemen, Asuka could be out here soon. Nia to the second rope now. What has she got planned here? Oh, what a flying axe handle. And now, all the strength of Nia just wrenching down on the shoulder and neck area of Asuka. Alexa Bliss is just loving this one, ladies and gentlemen. Down goes Asuka. Nia has her. What is she thinking? Oh, what a slam! Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Now Nia hanging back. Alexa using the feet, using her feet on the ropes. Referee doesn't see it. Oh, and still only a two count. Right, Alexa Bliss. Nia has her up. Samoan drop. And again, Nia letting Alexa take advantage. No, Asuka's still in this. Ladies and gentlemen, we started with four. Alexa Bliss, Asuka, Nia Jackson, Paige. Paige is eliminated. And so far, we've seen Alexa and Nia, best friends, teaming up on the undefeated Asuka. But if that happens and Asuka gets defeated and eliminated, 
Will Alexa and Nia battle it out for Alexa's Raw Women's Championship? This is just, this is just too much for Asuka right now. I mean, I know she's overcome some odds before, but this is just too much. The power and strength and pure size of Nia Jax. And the speed, quickness, and skill of Alexa. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Asuka's out. And now it comes down to the four, the two friends. Nia with a running power slam to her friend Alexa. Little Miss Bliss is down. Nia. All the weight coming down on Alexa. Alexa could be in the trouble. Will we see a new Raw Women's Champion? No. Jawbreaker. Alexa's got her. Nia's down. This little Miss Bliss got planned here. Just rubbing her face into the mat. Ladies and gentlemen, friendship thrown out the window with this. Alexa said she would do anything to win this match. And it looks like she has. She befriended, well, her best friend, Nia Jax, into helping her eliminate Paige and Asuka. Now Alexa trying to, no, but a power bomb. Right to the Raw Women's Champion. Now Nia taking it to Little Miss Bliss. No, but Alexa counters. Punch to the stomach. And another one, and a slap. Another kick. And jawbreaker. Nia's down. Could this be Alexa's turn? Going for the pin. No. Nia kicked out. Ladies and gentlemen, this fatal four-way match now turned into one-on-one. -on -one. Alexa can defend her championship against her best friend, Nia Jax. And still be your Raw Women's Champion. Oh, well, Nia defeat her best friend, Alexa, with a pure side and strength advantage. Oh, taking her out at the feet. Again, Alexa going for the pin. Could this be it? No. Nia powers out. A little Miss Bliss. Asking the crowd, come on, you really want me to take on my friend? We all know Alexa will do anything to keep that championship. Oh, but maybe she took too long. Nia with the knee to the face. Nia now in the corner saying, come on, sister. Get up, Alexa. And now just taking it to Alexa is Nia Jax. Oh, look at the punch. No, Alexa reverses. Down goes Nia. Could this be Alexa's moment? Can she keep her Raw Women's Champion? Look, she's looking for it. DDT. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Bam, right on the head of Nia. Alexa might have her. No. And an elbow. Alexa's got her. Sweeps the leg down goes Nia Jax. Now Alexa working on the back of her best friend. I don't know after this one if these two are going to be friends. Looks like they might end up becoming bitter rivals after this. What's Nia got here? Off the turnbuckle. Running power slam. with the arm breaker. Now it's Nia in control. No, Alexa with the kicks. Now to the forearm. Again, sweeps the leg. Down comes Nia Jax. Ladies and gentlemen, this fatal four-way match now one-on-one -on -one after the elimination of both Paige and Asuka. Alexa saying, what is it going to take to keep my friend Nia down? 
And a jawbreaker to Bliss. Again, Alexa. No, DDT. DDT to Nia Jax. Alexa now on the top rope. Elbow drop. Drop kick by Bliss. Running axe handle. Drop kick to the back of the head. Once Alexa got planned here, dragging her to the center of the ring. Is she? Yes, double knees to the. And boom, insult to injury. And now, dragging her into the corner. Alexa could be thinking. What's Alexa got here? Is she going to do it? Is she thinking Twisted Bliss? No, elbow drop. And now both champion and challenger are down. The champion stirring. Now Alexa dragging her. Alexa to the top rope. Can she hit it? Twisted Bliss. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Twisted Bliss to Nia Jax. This could be her moment. She can Alexa retain the Raw Women's Champion. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner and still the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Oh, Alexa, right there, the neck breaker to Asuka. And then this, the straight of Nia Jax slamming down Asuka. There you see it again, just bam. Alexa just surveying, picking up the table scraps of Nia Jax, eliminating Asuka after that Samoan drop. Then it came down to Nia and her best friend Alexa. But again, there you see Alexa taking advantage of the friendship and once again retaining her Raw Women's Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Alexa Bliss. Wow, what a fatal four-way matchup, ladies and gentlemen. That was a great showing there by the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. Being able to defend off Nia Jax Oscar and Paige. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we still have more coming your way here at Clash of Champions. Don't miss it. Ladies and gentlemen, later on tonight, we will see this man, Bray Wyatt, in that six-man Hell in the Cell match for the Universal Championship. But right now, looks like we're gonna hear a message from the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt. Stay tuned. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have liked what you've seen so far, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button, turn on notifications, leave a comment, tell me what you thought of this pay-per-view. And don't forget to go back if you've already missed part one. Please go back and watch part one. This is part two. Ladies and gentlemen, Clash of Champions continues. And there he is. The dark, mysterious, bizarre eater of worlds. Bray Wyatt. What does Wyatt have on his mind as he gets set later on tonight to be a part of that Hell in the Cell six-man matchup for the Universal Championship? Every time I step foot in this ring, I give it my all. I've shed blood, sweat, and tears in this ring. This is my life, my home. Lately, 
I've grown tired. Tired of being overlooked and being ignored. That's all going to change tonight when I win the Universal Championship. Maybe the WWE finally realized that they've been overlooking one of their most talented standout superstars of this generation. Maybe they realized that a certain someone should be given a chance to seize the spotlight and show they're ready to be the face of the WWE. Someone like me, the eater of worlds. I'm out here because I want to challenge a person who's been on my back for a long time. Y'all know who I'm talking about. He's about yay tall and loves getting his ass kicked. I guess if he's facing me, that could be anybody on the roster. So, just bring forth whoever you like in a match with me at the next pay-per-view, and I'll handle the rest. But tonight, I'm entering Hell in a Cell, and I'm coming out your Universal Champion. If my demands are not met, then I'll make even more demands. Like a bigger pay-per-view match next time. Maybe a bigger salary. Maybe even a private limo driver. Uh, I don't think I need that when I have the power of Sister Abigail. This is the final straw. No more talk, no more games, no more waiting. Tonight, either I will get what I deserve in that Universal Champion, or I begin dismantling this company piece by piece, brick by brick, superstar by superstar. And if you don't believe me, try me. Follow the buzzers. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Bray Wyatt is focused, laying down a message and a challenge to all of the other five superstars battling it out tonight in that Hell in a Cell match for the Universal Champion. Ship claiming he will be your next Universal Champion. Is that statement true? Can the Eater of Worlds fend off the other five superstars in that hell? I don't want to miss that main event. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Destroyer, the Samoan Submission Machine, Samoa Joe, taking on John Cena. The 16-time champion looks to battle it out against the man who said he is out to destroy John Cena, the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. And if Samoa Joe wins this match, you can sure as hell guarantee that he is on his way for an opportunity at whoever will be tonight's Universal Champion at the end of Class of Champions. But don't forget, John Cena is a 16-time WWE Champion. If he wins this match, he too will be the number one contender for the Universal Champion, whoever that may be after tonight's Hell in a Cell matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go as Samoa Joe, John Cena, one-on-one, -on -one, number one contender for the Universal title on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, Samoa Joe, the man who is out to make it his mission to take out John Cena. He's claiming that he is tired of seeing someone annoying as John Cena get in the spotlight that he, Samoa Joe claims, does not deserve. Samoa Joe looking to take out John Cena here tonight, become number one contender, and claim his spot on the Universal Champion. But ladies and gentlemen, those are just words. Let's go to the action. As Samoa Joe waits the arrival of the 16-time WWE Champion. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, here he comes. The one, the only, Mr. Hustlewell to respect, John Cena. Ladies and gentlemen, the roof of this place just blown off. Oh, but Samoa Joe not wanting to wait on this one. Well, Cena 
saying, hey, you want some, come get some. It looks like Joe is on his way. Here comes John Cena. John Cena, oh, and it clash right at the entranceway. Samoa Joe now, Irish women down goes Cena. Now Cena, Irish with him into the ring. This match officially underway. Cena now in control of Samoa Joe. Raining down punches on Joe, but no, Joe with the reversal. Joe take, taken down by Cena. Cena on the attack. Cena saying, hey Joe, you wanna attack me during my entrance? You wanna get this thing started? You just made this personal, son. Now Cena with the takedown on Samoa Joe. Cena saying, come on, you want some? Come get some. And ladies and gentlemen, now this match is officially underway. Samoa Joe, John Cena, winner, is the number one contender for the Universal Championship. Oh, down goes Cena, off test, off test, suplex. Now they're on the outside. Cena, Joe, right to left. Oh, Joe off the barricade. What, Cena? Belly to belly. Referee at a count of two. Oh, elbow from Cena to the forehead of Samoa Joe. John throwing Joe back into the ring. Now John on the attack. Raining down punches. What well, Cena, look at the strength of Cena. Oh, down goes Samoa Joe. But no, Joe with the backdrop. So now it's Joe's turn. Dragon Cena across the ring. Now Joe with the, oh, look at the strikes and the kicks. Right to the face of John Cena. Now Joe has Cena where he wants him. No, Cena reverses with an elbow. Now Cena with the tackle. And Cena trying to get this crowd in a frenzy. Ladies and gentlemen, these fans here, solely behind John Cena. Now Cena, oh, taking it to Joe. What's Cena got planned here? Off the top ropes, what's he looking for? Late drop to the back of the head. Cena now going for the pinfall. Referee in position, one, two, no. Powerful kick out there by Samoa Joe, and only a two count. Now Cena back on the attack, no. Joe reverses, punch to Cena. Down goes Cena. Cena rolls out of the way. Luthes press, Cena now. Well, Cena, Iris with Joe into the corner. He's got him down, Coast Joe. Now Cena telling Joe, come on, man. You wanted a fight, you got a war. Cena, Joe, winner, number one contender. Universal title. And a rake to the eyes by Cena. Shoulder tackle by Cena. Cena off the ropes. And a clothesline. Down goes Samoa Joe. You can't see me. And a right hand there by John Cena. What Cena got planned here. Looks like Cena wanting to play a little dirty. Want to make sure Samoa Joe is out for the count. Referee at a count of three. Now Joe rolling to the outside. John Cena whips him into the barricade. Now Cena raining down the right hands. Joe. Oh, what an elbow drop. And another. Cena got here. Oh, DDT on the floor. Cena in to break up the count. Back to the outside. Cena's not done with Samoa Joe. 
Keen out after takes Joe a lesson. Whips him right into the corner of that still post. Now it's Joe on the attack. Joe with the clothesline. Down goes Cena. What's Joe got planned here? Joe's got him. Oh, face first off the still steps goes John Cena. Cena throws him back into the ring now. Cena to the top rope. What Cena got planned here? Oh, what an elbow. Smashing the forehead of Samoa Joe. And an elbow drop. Cena possibly thinking, hey, no, clothesline. Now just working on the forehead of Samoa Joe. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Cena raining down the punches. Samoa Joe is busted open. And Cena just taking it to Joe. Joe out from underneath the legs of John Cena. Joe going for the pin. Cena kicks out at two. Cena rolls to the outside wisely. Samoa Joe saying, come on, man. Is that all you got? No, Cena went in a reversal. Joe's oh, raining down the elbows is Cena. Cena now. But Cena just, just striking it. Anything that moves. Just taking it to Joe. And again, tosses him. Cena again on the top rope. What's he got? And another leg drop to the back of the net. This could be it. Cena looking for the win. One, two, no. Kick out by Samoa Joe. Cena can't believe it. Joe's still busted open. Oh, Joe's down. What Cena got here? Reversal by Joe. Cena over the top rope. Down goes John Cena. Joe rolling to the outside after Cena. Oh, what a kick to the chest. Samoa Joe, John Cena battling it to become number one contender for the Universal title. Oh, off the ring post. Skull first goes Samoa Joe. Close line on the outside. Referee at a count of four. Cena taking it to Joe. Oh, off the ring apron. Cena back into the ring now. Cena's ready. Referee at a count of seven. Joe is stunned. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe can be out. Cena says, uh-uh, I'm not going to win it this way. Cena wants to win fair and square. Now Cena. Oh, what a punch. What's John Cena got planned here? Irish whips him into the ropes. Oh! Look at the strength of Cena just to toss Joe up in the air. Again, off the ropes. Oh my god, this time Cena caught him in midair. Cena has him up. Hey, hey! Attitude adjustment to Samoa Joe. And you hear this crowd. They are definitely behind. John Cena, Cena for the pin. And again, Joe kicks out of the AA. What has John Cena got to do? Oh, and Cena down now. Joe taking advantage. Kicking out of, of the pin attempt after the AA by John Cena. Joe stocking John Cena. What has Joe got planned? Oh, and a kick to the gut of Cena. Joe has Cena now. Cena days. Look at the punch. Oh. Joe with the suplex. My God. Oh, Cena getting fired up. So now it's John Cena in control. Shoulder tackle. No, oh, this time Joe reverses. Down goes Joe. Drop kick by John Cena. This crowd, you can hear him getting behind John Cena. 
What's Cena got planned here? What's John thinking? He's got him where he wants him. You can't see me. Cena off the ropes. Five knuckle shuffle. Cena rolls him over. What's Cena thinking about? Cena thinking AA. Hey, once again, could this be it? Yes. Second AA on Samoa Joe. Two, three, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, John Cena. John Cena is your new number one contender. Oh, look at that leg drop from the top rope of Joe. Cena thought he had him right here, but Joe kicks out at two. And again, he went for another leg drop to the back of the head. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, the first AA was incredible. John Cena still can't believe he kicked out of the first one, but John Cena right here, five knuckles shuffle, hits the AA. And ladies and gentlemen, your winner, John Cena. He is the number one contender for this Universal Championship. But who will be Universal Champion after tonight's Hell in a Cell matchup here at Clash of Champions? John Cena is definitely going to be tuning in for the main event to see who he will be facing soon for that Universal Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match. Samoa Joe, John Cena. It's your winner, John Cena, and the new number one contender for the Universal Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a matchup. Now, let's get set. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we heard from Sting at SummerSlam. And Sting has had a couple of great matches here recently on Monday Night Raw leading up to Class of Champions. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Sting has a very important message for us here at Class of Champions. Stay tuned. Let's hear what the Scorpion has to say. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the icon, Sting. In the ring with the microphone, and this crowd chanting Sting, Sting, Sting. Ladies and gentlemen, they want to hear what the icon has to say, and so do I. So, without further ado, I have to say, being the amazing athlete that I am, it's hard walking around backstage. The sideways glances, the awkward glares, it appears I have a target on my back. But that's the price I pay for being the most exciting superstar to walk down that aisle since boots got laced. So, things around here are about to change. Because I have something to say. Ladies and gentlemen. Now, I sit back in that locker room and wait for my opportunity. But everyone knows that good things don't come to those who wait. They come to those who are willing to reach out and take it. And that's exactly what I plan on doing tonight. Well, what could this mean, ladies and gentlemen? They call me B+. Plus. Nah, I'm an A+. Plus. But when it comes to my talent, I'm A all the way. Other guys in the back, they, they talk a good game. But they can't back it up like I do. So anyone in that locker room, feel free to step up to me if you think you can beat me. I stand for the WWE Universe, not anyone else. So bring your worst, because this superstar is going to defy you every step of the way. With my talent and the WWE Universe behind me, I can't be stopped. Hell, I won't be stopped. Woo! Because I'm going to walk out of this ring. And when I do, I'm not going to say another word about this. I'm just going to take action. I'm going to fight my way through everyone who's standing in my way. This is a new day in the WWE. And if you're on board, awesome. It's going to be a wild ride, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not on board, that's fine. Because there's nothing that's going to stop me. The icon, Sting.
Ladies and gentlemen, some powerful words there by Sting, laying down the challenge that he will not be overlooked. He's back in the WWE when he came back in summers. He's picked Hardy, a few others, but he's looking to be on top once again. And ladies and gentlemen, this one right here, this is going to be one hell, no pun intended, of a match. Ladies and this is going to be good. We will see Brock Lesnar defend his Universal Championship in a six-man Hell in a Cell match between the monster, the big monster, Kane, the of worlds that we saw earlier, Bray Wyatt, the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy, the demon, Finn Balor, and ladies and gentlemen, the COO, the game, the cerebral assassin, the king of kings himself, Triple H. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, strap your boots into this one. You're not going to want to miss this. This is going to be off the charts, off the chain. One hell of a Hell in a Cell match. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for joining me here, Brandon Pickett, Thriller 23YO, right here on Twitch, but also on YouTube, because I'm bringing you the main event of Clash of Champions, and there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the COO, the Cerebral Assassin, the game, Triple H, and he looks to once again be on top, not only of the company, but of the title pitcher as well, as he looks to dethrone Brock Lesnar in this six-man Hell in a Cell match for the Universal Championship. And the game looks ready, focused, laser-focused, ladies and gentlemen. Look at those eyes. The game is definitely in great condition, great shape, ready for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, the King of Kings, Triple H. Will this man, the COO, Triple H, be the Universal Champion after this match? This hell in a cell cage match. Ladies and gentlemen, anything can happen here in the WWE. You're not going to want to miss this main event. So please, don't go anywhere. And also, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and please share this awesome, awesome pay-per-view with your friends and family and tell people that Thriller 23YO Productions is the place to be for great matches like this. Six man Hell in a Cell match coming your way. Universal Championship on the line. And there you see Triple H, but ladies and gentlemen, here comes the next competitor. There he is, the returning charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, him and his brother Matt returned at WrestleMania. But here tonight, it's Jeff Hardy who has the chance to become the first Universal Champion here in the Hardy brand. And ladies and gentlemen, Jeff looked like he's ready to get back on top here in the WWE upon his return with his brother Matt, who we saw earlier in the program here at Clash of Champions. And ladies and gentlemen, these are just two of the combatants. And here's the man we saw earlier tonight come out and claim that he is going to take over all of WWE once he becomes Universal Champion. 
Ladies and gentlemen, your Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt. We saw way back at SummerSlam pay-per-view that I had on this channel. We saw Bray Wyatt call out the demon Finn Balor. Well, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, they once again will butt heads as you see Bray Wyatt, Jeff Hardy, Triple H, Kane, Finn Balor, and the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar battle it out inside hell in a cell. Ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned earlier about Matt Hardy, at the beginning of the program here at Clash of Champions, Woken Matt Hardy made a challenge to anybody in space and time. And lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, CM Punk returned to WWE to answer that challenge here at Clash of Champions. We saw the icon Sting once again claiming his spot here in WWE, calling out anybody in the back. Ladies and gentlemen, there you see it, the Eater of Worlds is getting set and ready for this match, match up here inside Hell in a Cell for the Universal Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes. The current undisputed Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar. Ladies and gentlemen, can the Beast defend his championship and what is going to be talked about for the ages? This awesome six man Armageddon Hell in a Cell match for his undisputed title. Ladies and gentlemen, Lesnar looks to defend against Triple H, Jeff Hardy, Kane, Bray Wyatt, and Finn Balor. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. Tell your friends, tune in. This Hell in the Cell match is about to begin here at Clash of Champions. WWE fans, Brock Lesnar looks to be in great condition here tonight at Clash of Champions. But of course, we all know he has to be if he looks to defend against these other five superstars in this demonic structure known as Hell in a Cell. There you see it in the eyes. The Beast is ready. Yeah, the Beast might be ready. But is the Beast ready for the demon, the monster, Kane? Ladies and gentlemen, Kane made his return. He's taken out Finn Balor. He's taken out and had an awesome match against Roman Reigns, almost becoming the Intercontinental Champion a couple weeks ago here on Raw. And we've seen him go toe to toe with Braun Strowman. But tonight, Kane looks to become not only the monster that we all know he is. But ladies and gentlemen, Kane looks to become once again a champion by winning the Universal Championship. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we saw just a few moments ago John Cena become the number one contender for the Universal Champion. So we all know John Cena is definitely going to be in the back on the monitor watching this one to see who he has to take on. And it could be any of these five men already out in the arena, or it could be this man, the demon, Finn Balor. And ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the best, best entrances here in WWE. And ladies and gentlemen, Finn Balor said he was coming after Bray Wyatt, but he has also claimed that he is coming after what he said he has never lost the first ever universal champion on his way ladies and gentlemen Finn Balor
And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the Demon King Finn Balor. What an awe-inspiring entrance, ladies and gentlemen. This crowd absolutely just going nuts and for anticipation for this Hell in the Cell match. I mean, who do you pick to win this one? You got the Demon King here, Finn Balor, leader of the Balor Club. You have the Monster King, the Beast, Brock Lesnar, the Charismatic Enigma, Jeff Hardy, the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt, and the Game, the King of Kings, Triple H. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for this one because you're not going to want to miss a moment of this Hell in a Cell action here at Clash of Champions. It's Finn Balor. Now approaching the ring. There you see Kane in the background. Triple H. We all know Triple H brought Finn Balor to WWE through NXT. Well, we see a battle of those two. Ladies and gentlemen, anything is possible here in WWE. And with anything goes, no rules. Only way to win by pinfall or submission. Hell in a cell. This is going to be bloody. This is going to be brutal. This is going to be hell in a cell. And those eyes say it all, ladies and gentlemen. Finn Balor is ready to unleash the demon on these other five combatants here and regain what he says he never lost, that being the Universal Championship. <coughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Triple H going after Bray Wyatt. Finn Balor going after Brock Lesnar. Kane. Going after Jeff Hardy. Now it's Wyatt and Triple H on the outside. Oh, Triple H knocking down Wyatt. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to call this action the best I can. And we have six combatants. This action's going anywhere. Oh, Wyatt with the atomic drop on the game. Finn Balor taking it. DDT to Brock Lesnar. Backbreaker to Kane by Jeff Hardy. Kane's down. Oh, Wyatt tossing Triple H off the cage, slamming him to the floor. Jeff Hardy's on the top ropes, misses the leg drop by, on the Kane. Now it's Bray Wyatt into the cage. Wyatt thrown back in by Triple H. Kane with the neck breaker on Finn Balor. Russian leg sweep by Hardy. Lesnar on the outside. Smart strategy there by the Universal Champion. Let these other two wear themselves out, pick up a victory. No, Lesnar's back in the ring now, going after the Monster Kane. Triple H to Wyatt. Oh, Triple H with a gut buster to Wyatt. Wyatt rolls to the outside. Neck breaker to Brock Lesnar by Triple H. Triple H going after the pin. No, Jeff Hardy in to break it up. And now it's Balor and Hardy going at it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The battle of evil. Bray Wyatt going against Kane. Kane looked into the corner. Bray Wyatt, boot to the face. Just choking out Kane. Now Finn Balor and Wyatt going at it like we knew they would. Balor on the outside going after Wyatt. Lesnar taking it to Triple H. Kane down in the corner. Hardy's out on the outside. Oh, look at that. Balor with a magnificent move there to Bray Wyatt. Now, Wyatt on the attack of the demon. Now the regular eyes 
there by Bray Wyatt. Wyatt in the ring. That's why it got planned here. Oh. Triple H is down. The CEO is down. And now, Suplex City is starting here on Kane. Brock Lesnar with the Suplex. Jeff Hardy, what's he got here? Twist of Fate to Bray Wyatt. Hardy with the Twist of Fate to Wyatt. Balor's on, on the outside. Hardy's got Triple H. Off the top rope goes Triple H by Hardy. Kane working on that neck of Lesnar. Oh, what a magnificent flying moonsault off the top bottom. Now broken up by Kane. Now, Wyatt once again going after Beller. Tossing Wyatt like a just today's garbage. The F5, the F5 to Triple H. Beller's in. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I can't believe how short that was. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. I, 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 I don't believe it, he did it. Brock Lesnar retained the Universal Championship and an upset. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it, your winner, and still the Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar. This right here, F5 to Triple H. That was it. Ladies and gentlemen, that man right there. I would not want to be that referee right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't believe what we just saw. Lesnar came in into Hell in the Cell, took out the COO Triple H, took out Kane. I mean, he did it, ladies and gentlemen. He conquered him. He is the conqueror. Ladies and gentlemen, and still your universal champion, Brock Lesnar. Wow, what a match. Was not expecting that outcome, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, we're not done. Before this match's card is ending, Class of Champions is not over. We have one more special thing for you here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid himself, the icon, Mr. WrestleMania. The show stopper is here to make a statement. Ladies and gentlemen, Shawn Michaels is here. So ladies and gentlemen, before we end this night up, what does Shawn Michaels have in store? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out. Class of Champions, right here, Shawn Michaels. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Wrestling gear and all for returning Shawn Michaels. Ladies and gentlemen, we just saw one hell of a hell in a cell match there with those six combatants for the Universal Championship match. We've seen a last man standing match. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you missed any of this, please go back and watch part one and part two. I've worked harder day in and day out than any superstar here, and I'll be damned if I sit with my mouth shut, and I'll be damned if I don't say what I've got to say now. See, here's the thing. You know when you have an itch that you can't reach, and you stretch, and you stretch, but you just can't get at it? That's what the WWE feels like to me right now, and it's driving me crazy, and that's why things are going to change around here. But the claws are about to come out, and I'm going to scratch the hell out of something. Uh-oh, Sean's calling somebody out tonight, or something. I'm done letting management decide what they think is best for me. The time for waiting for my opportunity is over. From now on, I'm the one calling the shots. I'm going to make another name for myself. And once again, show you why I am the show stopper. 
I've been proving myself since I walked through that door, and I'm still here. I'm seeing so many superstars come and go because they couldn't hack it. Well, here I am in the middle of this ring in front of my millions of fans. All I need is just one match, just one, one more match to prove that I am Mr. WrestleMania, the icon, HBK. Tonight's the night that the gloves come off and the games stop because it's no longer all about the game and how you play it. It's all about decimating the game and creating your own. No more games. I'm not here to play. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Shawn Michaels is back in WWE. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, what a way to end Clash of Champions. Just in back and watch episode one, part one of Clash of Champions. As we saw in part one, if anybody missed it, we saw the Woken Matt Hardy call out CM Punk. We saw a triple threat match between the Brian Kendricks, who is your new cruiserweight champion, as he battled it out in a Extreme Rules match against Drew Gulak and Enzo Amore. We also saw Jason Jordan calling out the returning Miz. We saw the new tag team champions, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, take on the former champs of Cesaro and Sheamus. We saw Edge make his return. And right here in part two, we saw a last man standing match for the Intercontinental title. Roman Reigns defending off Braun Strowman in a hellacious last man standing match. We saw Alexa Bliss defend her Raw Women's Championship match in a fatal four-way elimination against Nia Jax, Paige, and Asuka. We heard from Bray Wyatt before he got set for that epic matchup in Hell in a Cell. We saw a number one contenders match for the Universal title as John Cena talked toppled off and took out Samoa Joe. The icon Sting made his presence known. And ladies and gentlemen, what was an upset of, in my opinion, of the night, Brock Lesnar defending his title against Finn Balor, Kane, Bray Wyatt, Jeff Hardy, and the COO himself, Triple H, in an Armageddon Hell in a Cell match. And ladies and gentlemen, you just saw it here. Shawn Michaels is back in the WWE. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for more WWE action right here on Thriller 20 through IO Productions. I'm Brandon Pickett. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe, turn on notifications, like this, like the others. Ladies and gentlemen, share with your friends as you'll never know. And tell them that you're excited, you're pumped, and tell them to tune in, subscribe, comment, tell them that you want to see more Thriller 20 through IO action here on my universe mode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Clash of Champions. Thriller, out.